Okay, I think I'm crooked just a little bit, but you know what? Just ignore it. It's fine. No, we're not. Hello. It is Monday the 13th. It is the day after Mother's Day. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. Um, it was gorgeous yesterday. We took our girlies to the playground after breakfast, um, one of our favorite playgrounds. And then we went on a family walk after dinner around like one of the lake trails by our house that we always take little family walks on. Um, and it was just, it was nice. I, it is, what time is it? It's a little after 11.30. Um, I did a good, quick power hour deep clean of my house and it feels so good. I got a workout in, which if I look disgusting, that's probably why. Um, my little one is playing with all of her stuffies and having a little snacky. Um, but yeah, I just got a lot of stuff done that I needed to get done and here we are. I wanted to, I think I'm just going to try to do like a daily vlog situation, but that's not to say that I'm going to vlog every single day because I probably won't. Um, I, I get burned out really fast, really easily. Um, and I don't want to do that because then I'm going to go MIA and just neglect everything. But I signed up for three markets in-person markets um yeah my my brother-in-law's sister's farm they have like a family farm um it's her very first time opening up for markets so i don't know how well it's going to do but i'm excited nonetheless i'm very excited i'm doing it at the end of june at the end of july and at the end of august and i don't want to stop there i want to sign up for more i would love to do like two markets a month if i could but we're just gonna start here. I'm so excited. Um, I've been market prepping for the past like three weeks. I'll show you what I had made um, this past week that just ended up or ended. Um, I will leave the names to all of the pattern designers in the description as I usually do. Um, I, I think I've been pretty good about doing that so I'll do that again. But Raven and Jade came out with these little bitty kibbles kitty pattern and it's so cute so i made this one this is um just like an off white and then rust and then this one i think is called seagull gray and then i had a little bit of this um variegated um silver steel i think it's called and they turned out so cute oh, they're adorable so i made two of those um i did i think neutral nuts is the pattern designer it could be shop mud threads but i think it's neutral nuts i'm pretty sure it's neutral nuts came out with a junior bear i made one already this is my second one and i did a winnie the pooh inspired one so cute it's got a little tail i'm loving the no eyes minimalistic look so I think it's so cute. It turned out adorable. I made mine snuggler style. They do have, I, I'm pretty sure they have a version where it's stuffed, um, but I made mine snuggler style. And this is a really good size. This is a really good size. Um, it's just so cute. I made, I found a free pattern for a loaf cat on Instagram. I'll put the Instagram handle in the description. I can't think of who it is off the top of my head, um, but it's not the, the bigger version that I've seen a lot of people make, but it's still a good size. It's still a really good size. Um, the little tail. I think it's so cute. I'm gonna make a couple more. I might make like two or three more um, and see how it does. But I feel like everybody's making little loaf cats. I just think it's so cute. So I made one of those. Um, I used up some more yarn and made another little turtle. This is a pattern by Of Sticks and Yarn. It is a paid pattern. Um, I bought it off of Etsy. Um, but it's just a cute little tiny turtle. These are so cute. This is my second one of this and I plan on, I, I do want to batch a bunch of these. It's a good stash buster. I have the Hatching Chick pattern. I think it's by Louie and Berg. 
Um, it's supposed to have an egg. It's supposed to be inside of an egg. My eggs turn out really weird and I just don't like the look of it personally. Um, so I have a bunch of them without the eggs and I think I'm just gonna keep it like this. And then that way I can also price these as like a smaller ticket item too. But I made, I used a, a bunch, that they're all in random yarn colors because I used up a bunch of yarn in skeins that was like almost gone. Um, which is another reason why I've been loving market prepping because it uses up a lot of my yarn. Um, I have eight of them. And then the last things that I made that I finished up yesterday, the Cozy Stitch dropped new patterns. When, when she drops new patterns, you make her patterns. I don't make the rules, okay? If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with the Cozy Stitch patterns. I always have been, I always will be forever and ever the end. Tara's a genius and her patterns are just always the best. So I purchased her flower chubby buddy pattern. <sighs> how cute, how cute, how cute, how cute. Like, come on, come on. So this one does have two rows of petals, but I like it, it's cute, but I think I like just one row. So that's what I've been doing. Um, but this one's like a light blue and then like an olive green. This one is the same olive green body and then just white with the little petals. Oh, so cute. This one's giving me Barney vibes. My husband picked the colors out. <laughs> but um, I don't remember what this green is called, but it's a Bernat color. And then I also don't remember the name of this, but it's like a raspberry fuchsia kind of a color. Again, it's giving me Barney vibes. Um, this one's my favorite. This one is in the color Moss, and then I think this is called Coral Blossom. I love this one. But I made four of these, and I plan on making more. So yeah, that's everything I made last week. I think when I counted, it was 17 items total, which isn't bad. It's not my best, but it's not bad. I probably could have batched up, like, more of these, but whatever. It's been going well. It's been working, so... Yeah, that's everything I made. I have a giant bin next to me that I've been keeping in my living room and I've just been chucking everything in this bin as I make it throughout the week. But yeah, so I, I'm gonna put all this back in the bin for now before I go ahead and like put it away in my closet. I have I wanna show everything that I've made the last two weeks too, but it's all put up in my closet. So I'm not gonna do that right now. Probably not in this video, maybe in the next one. Um, but I, I got a lot done so far in just three weeks, which I'm really surprised. Um, but that makes me feel good because I feel like I can sign up for more, like, multiple markets in a month and feel pretty confident that I can, like, really batch make a bunch of stuff. Real quick, though, I did go to a Dollar Tree and got a couple of things for my display. This one is not from the Dollar Tree. This is from the Target Dollar section fool's eyes playground i think it's called um i only have one i should have grabbed more and i can't find them anymore i think they don't have them anymore if i see them again i'll grab them but i think this was like five dollars or something though so like yeah it does kind of bother me that the gold is different but it's still really cute still really pretty so i plan on using it for my display but dollar tree Dollar Tree is killing it. These I think are meant for like more office-y things, but I got two of these little baskets. I figured these would be perfect for like, where is it? Get back here. These would be perfect for like a bunch of like little items, like little turtles and bees and stuff. I've already kind of set my bees in it to see what it looks like and it looks so cute. So these would be great for like a bunch of little items. I want to go back. They only have these two in stock. So I want to go back and see if they restock them and grab more. Um, I probably want like four to six total of these because I just think they're perfect for little <laughs> items. And then I found these trays, which are, I'm thinking I'm going to use these for my chubby buddies. Is that not so cute and so perfect? And it's nice because it'll be sitting out and you, people will be able to see like all the different variety. So cute. So, so cute. I, I only grabbed two of those. I should have grabbed more. 
So I could even use it for like my little chickens. How cute, how cute is that? These are perfect and they're so cute. My tablecloth is just a simple white tablecloth. And then I do wanna go, Joann's always has those like wooden crates and they always have coupons. So I was gonna go ahead and see if I could score like two or three of them, at least three of them for now. I'm trying to get stuff little by little. Um, so that way I'm not spending too much money all at once. But I also figure this is only my first in-person market, so I don't have to have like a bomb display right off the bat. Not a lot of people do. It's something that I can like tweak and grow and make a lot nicer um, as I do more markets. But I kind of want to try to share like market finds on a budget because who's not on a budget these days? I did find... They're on my kitchen counter, but Dollar Tree had a bunch of white tags in a pack of 60. Um, I do want to make my own tags like on Canva, but to save money um, now, because I'm just getting started, I'm just gonna do those white tags on like my bigger, like my snugglers, and I'll just write the price of them and like, you know, have them sprawled out. So hopefully nobody asks me how much is this. They can just see the price tag and be like, oh, okay, cool. Um, and then I think Dollar Tree also usually has like chalkboard signs that I can put on like baskets and stuff. I thought that was a good find. I wish they had more than just the two of these baskets because I think they're so perfect. Um, even if I can't find any more of these, I definitely will go back and grab these for sure. Okay, it's currently like 12.30. Um, no crocheting has taken place, but, <laughs> but Aldi, ciabatta roll, pesto, mozzarella, sliced tomato, and a splash of balsamic vinegar. So freaking good. It doesn't look very appetizing because I've like demolished majority of it, but it's my new obsession. And then also my other new obsession, Olipop. This is the classic root beer and it's so, so yummy. I had the, what is it? Cherry cola one and that one is also so good. And I am finishing up the Tom Brady roast, which is okay. It's got some funny people. I don't know, mixed opinions. I promise I'm gonna crochet after this though. I don't know what, but we're gonna crochet something. The hook will come out. That sounded wrong so I just um, made and posted my reel for my weekly recap so that is on my Instagram I also um, cross posted it as a short on YouTube I've been trying to get good about doing that um, I'm going to tag my bigger items so I thought I would share the tags that I had mentioned previously these are from Dollar Tree. They're the Jot brand, and they come with 60 tags, which is a lot. They're just white string tags. I'll zoom in. You can see the dimensions. And they look like this. And then I just take, like, a little thin Sharpie, and I'll write the price. And then I'll go ahead and wrap it around the, um, like, item I'm putting it on. And that's it. Easy enough. another little flower chubby buddy I goofed though um and accidentally added an extra row um to this part 
So he's got a little five head going on. Um, but he's still cute. He's going to go into the bin. Um, and that's going to wrap it up for today. Very short little vlog. Um, because I have to go get into the pickup line to get my kiddos. And then I don't know what she's yelling about. <laughs> um, and then we'll make dinner and do all of our after school evening shenanigans. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get this edited and uploaded hopefully either tonight or tomorrow. Um, and then hopefully I'll be vlogging again soon. Yeah. But thanks for sitting and hanging out with me and chit chatting. Thank you for watching. And I will, my, my five head sunflower chubby buddy, and I will see you in my next vlog.